like me when that subject did come up the husband like exploded what's going on everybody so here i am on saturday this is technically my second field day i was actually able to book two additional appointments yesterday which puts me at a total of four for today yeah i'm really excited about today i'm actually double booked at 10. they're both quick sets and one of them one of them is better than the other, the quality of the lead, and so I'm gonna go to that one first. And then I have a noon appointment, and my next appointment's at 1.45, and the guy's my age. What's going on, guys? So I actually have some good news and some bad news. Let's just get the bad news out of the way. The bad news is my first two appointments were both no-shows, and then my 12 o'clock appointment basically was a no-show, but I didn't actually go there. I did answer the phone. Lesson learned, don't do that. We're essentially rescheduling without a date. I know, whatever, I sent him an email too. I have the 145, but uh, my upline, uh, Ty, just gave me four appointments that he has for the rest of the day. So he has a 2 p.m. and a couple others, and he sent me over all the information that I need. So it's about 1.05 right now, and I'm going to, I'm getting ready to head out uh, to the first one. Uh, yeah, so I really appreciate that. That was definitely a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. What's going on guys? So this uh, uh, first appointment at 2 p.m. It's only eight minutes away. So I'm actually headed there now and it's so it's pretty close to my house. So basically that appointment went just about as bad as you could possibly imagine <laughs> uh, aside from like getting physically injured or dying. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've, it was, it's been about 10 or 15 minutes I've just had to process what happened and how I could have done it differently, but basically it was a husband and wife and the lady was super nice and she invited me in and her husband was very stern sitting at the kitchen table and he was very business. He was serious. Maybe that's a better word. And so he was, he just was giving me the vibes that, you know, get to the point, like, who are you? I didn't talk to you. So I got to the point point. I, I basically was asking him who he was looking to protect. He had talked to Ty about something completely different. I hadn't even gotten to um, asking about kids. And when I, when that subject did come up, the husband like exploded uh, on the wife and kind of at me. I don't think I did a good enough job of painting the picture of what we were doing and where that was going. I really do need to do the training. I'm, I'm glad that I got to these appointments. What's going on everybody? So I just sold a policy that's uh, $2,400 in annual premium, which is my second sale and my biggest sale. And I actually genuinely got to help the guy. So it's kind of cool. So I just wanted to explain that first sale a little bit more. I had four appointments and that was the second appointment that Ty had given me. and. I had gone to one of my own appointments right before that and it was a no-show. I was pretty discouraged at that point and I pulled up to a house that was sort of in not the best neighborhood. I'd had a ton of no-shows in this specific neighborhood that day and the day before. And so I was not that optimistic. I got there expecting the person to not even know who I was. He was actually working on a car in the driveway and I was super surprised because the guy really like he wanted the appointment. It was almost like he was looking forward to it and he genuinely wanted insurance for his family. He has seven kids the whole time or actually sitting on his front porch and he was just super, you could tell he was just in love with his kids. So it was nice to be able to help him. It almost brought him to tears uh, just talking about his kids. Anyway, got $200,000 worth of coverage which was his annual premium was around $2,400. And so I walked away from there uh, just knowing that I had helped somebody, which was at the forefront of my mind, just like what a big impact I had on this guy. And uh, the money was, was really secondary. We really are helping families and helping people. And it's just weeding out all of the bad appointments, like the one right before that, to find the people that you're actually supposed to help and they're, they're thankful that you're there to, to help them. It's kind of opposite from what I've been programmed as a society, like we should just go after money. But I feel like if we go after helping people and serving them, the money just will come. Like God will provide the money. So it's like being selfless and helping others. But at the same time, you're getting something out of it. And you can make a lot of money doing this. And now the sun is definitely in my eyes. I don't like it. 